on the road. Um, went out seeing some real estate today, talked to an owner. Uh, they're interested in selling. And always try to do that when, if possible, if I'm in the area or it's not too far, um, I try to get my eyes on real estate before going on a contract because a lot of times uh, the numbers on the page don't reflect uh, the property and you can look online all you want, look at all the numbers, but um, before you go on a contract, a lot of times you'll show up and you'll think, man, this is a, I'm getting a great deal. This is a seven cap on this high quality property in a great location under market rents or seven cap. This needs to be like a 20 cap because this is a war zone. This is a disaster. This is not nice. This, I want no part of these turnaround operations. That's a, a war zone. And so on the surface, the numbers can be really, really deceiving. So whenever possible, uh, we, got a, we got a park under contract about a month ago. And I went there, met with the seller, he showed me around, we bonded, um, talked about how he wanted to structure the deal. Um, so I had a really good understanding of how to, how to write up the, the LOI and the contract and what he was really looking for. And uh, it's just so much easier face to face to get to know the park. Um, and then my partner went the other day, he's like, whoa, this is super nice. <laughs> so th there's those good things. And then today I just went through one where, uh, you know, it's, it's probably not, unless the price is just unbelievable, um, it's probably not as nice as what some of the other stuff we bought and we typically look for. And it may not be big enough to maybe make it to, to, to be worth it. So when I have those conversations with the seller, I can adjust in my head what I think is going to be a price that's going to make me worth buying it. And I'll, and I'll tell them that. I'll say, hey, this is what I'm looking for and, you know, I, I think we're too far off. I think there's probably a better buyer out there for you. I want, I want what's best for you. And just trying to do the right thing in that scenario. And sometimes they'll come back to you in the future if, if you try to think about them first and, and do right by them. Uh, sometimes they'll come back and, and, and want to sell. And so. Um, that's kind of what I look for, and that's why it's so important to go visit visit properties uh, before you go under contract. Not only the relationship building with the seller um, makes everything easier, but also just getting your eyes on the property and knowing exactly 